Revolutionaries have been added to the game, and they are actually a pretty simple antagonist. If you are the head revolutionary, you are tasked with taking over the station by any means necessary. The syndicate has sponsored you with a flash that converts the crew to your side. Beware, this won't work on security, command, and those wearing sunglasses. Viva la revolution. If you press C, there actually are no antagonist roles, so it could be a little confusing that you're an antagonist at all if you're just unaware with the, the system of revolutionaries. But if you're a head revolutionary, you will have this blue R always attached to the top left of your character. And in your inventory, you'll spawn with sunglasses and a flash. The flash is just a flash. However, a head revolutionary has a unique ability with it. If you melee anyone with it that doesn't have flash protection or a mind shield, which I'll get into later what a mind shield is, you will convert them to a revolutionary. So just to show you how the mechanic works, you simply take the flash in your hand, you turn on harm mode, and you melee someone. It will stun them, and they'll instantly get the red R above their head, meaning they are now a normal revolutionary. They're supposed to listen to you, you are the head revolutionary, and depending on the server population, there may be several more of you, or you may be the only one, but either way, uh, anyone with the R is your ally. Their overall goal is to, again, take over the station, which... That basically means kill all the heads, kill security, kill those that can't be converted, and convert those that you can. And yeah, the, it's a conversion game mode. So realistically, being a revolutionary is that simple. You have your flash, it has five charges, meaning you can convert up to five people with the flash. So how do you get more flashes? There are a few ways, but depending on your job and depending on your risk level, it is going to vary how difficult it is to get more flashes. There are many different places that you can either craft flashes or find flashes. And depending on your job and whatever access you end up stealing or just have access to in general, you will have an easier or harder time acquiring these. The exosuit fabricator can just straight up craft flashes without any extra access and only requiring glass, plastic, and steel. And each one you craft will have five uses, so that's five more people you can convert. There's four free flashes in a Robotex Deluxe, but you need science access to be able to open it or to be able to withdraw from it. But if you have screwdriver and wire cutters, you just have to snip the account wire, like so, and then you can have four flashes for free, which is 20 conversions. I don't even know if you're going to live that long. The Sec Tech also has five in it. If you can break into security and get access to this, again, you can just snip the account wire like that, and then you'll have access to five. There is the security tech fab, so if you break into the armory, or I think, I forget what station it is, I think it's Aspid. Aspid has a free tech fab, uh, security tech fab board in engineering, so you could make your own here. So that's another option. I mean, every map's going to be a little different. Non-lethal crates can be ordered at cargo, and all you need is security access to open them, or you could just break it open with a bat. Inside, though, there's three stun batons, which is awesome for a revolution, three disablers, and three flashes. Again, that's 15 more conversions. And inside every single security officer locker, there is a flash. And security officers also spawn with flashes, and every single head of the every single head of a department, including the captain, will spawn with a flash as well. Meaning that if you kill a head and they haven't used their flash, you can convert more people. So getting flashes isn't too hard if you just have the basic knowledge of where to get them. Now I will move on to just a mechanic of the revolutionaries, and I'll show you this one. A revolution will automatically end if every single head revolutionary dies. You will automatically be unconverted if every head revolutionary dies. In this situation, there is only one head revolutionary, and... Uh, once you die, not crit, once you completely die, you will be unconverted, which is taking longer because I'm a slime. And on death, you'll see Eurus Mechanis has remembered their true allegiance. You'll get re-stunned again, and their R symbol is gone. Now we move on to mine shields. Mine shields can be ordered at cargo for $5,000 for three mine shield implants. I also assume that armories will come with at least a box of these as well. For anyone who is not security or a head of a department, the only way you can become immune to being a revolutionary entirely is by having a mind shield. Being flash resistant obviously helps, but you could always get stunned, cuffed, have your flash resistance removed, and then converted. So a mind shield is the true anti-conversion method. So if you inject somebody who's already a revolutionary with a mind shield, it will actually deconvert them. So this means security will have non-lethal measures of unconverting revolutionaries and making them uh, back into normal crew. Now, if you try to flash somebody who has a mind shield, there's actually no indication that it uh, 
doesn't work other than the fact they see them not convert. I somewhat expect there to be a way to tell if somebody's mind shielded, because as of right now, there just isn't a way of knowing. So I can see this being a little confusing in the future once mind shields actually start getting imp or once mind shields start getting used. So I can see that becoming a problem. Also, a way to tell if somebody's a head revolutionary. If you try to inject the head revolutionary at the mind shield, it will say the mind shield is destroyed. So that is pretty much the only confirmation, other unless you see the head revolutionary convert somebody directly, that they are a head revolutionary. And by the way, only a head revolutionary can convert people. A normal revolutionary with a flash will do uh, nothing with it other than stun or uh, flash someone, I mean. That's pretty much it. Revolutionaries is pretty simple. Uh, you keep fighting until all the head revolutionaries are dead. Uh, if you are a revolutionary, you just try to kill those that can't be converted. Otherwise, try to stun people to have them be converted by a head revolutionary. Uh, you really want to try to convert as many people as you can. And if you can't convert them, you definitely want to kill them and use whatever gear they have. Since you don't have access to like a syndicate shop or anything, you must get really crafty with the weapons that you find. So like stealing security gear is definitely a top priority for uh, continuing the revolution. Uh, certain departments are a lot better at making makeshift weapons than others. Uh, like science, for example, it will have access to flashes immediately, so like you can convert a lot of people that don't have flash protection. Uh, yeah, that's all I can really think of. I don't think there's anything super important I missed. So, thank you for watching.